one of these we're going to replace with a half. Which I think I'll do this one. So what I'll do is I'll move this one now to the outside. can start moving into a super by the end of this week and also um, <laughs> introducing super frame in there uh, so that they build some drone brood underneath to help manage the varroa. Varroa count currently is very low and we found two varroa so far this you can see that they're already starting to draw this out. Some red pollen, <laughs> probably from horse chestnut, and more pollen. So that's all we really intend to do today. off the half frame that we put in the other day. Just move this all up this way with fraction. So this is the half frame. Hopefully it's been drawn out and the queen is starting to lay drone brood in it so that we can start managing the varroa. there. Still no sign of the queen on that side. Nor on that side. No. Okay, so honey. Pollen. Not being laid in this side yet. You can see the natural shape that the bees like to do comb in is round, not square. Okay, we've got eggs on this side, so hopefully we've got some drone larva there. So definitely super on. there through, in through the gaps but the queen can't so what that means is that all of the bees they can come up and they can put nectar in here but the queen can't come up and lay any eggs so this will provide them with some food stores over the next few weeks because they've run out of space down there for eggs and stores so come on girls <laughs> 